Welcome to another episode of Boy With Dog Mask Cooks Food. And last week, I had a considerable amount of pork meat left over. So this week, I'm going to create a couple of more extra recipes using that same pork meat. One of the first thing I'm going to do is basically a simple rice bowl. So you just cook up some uh, white rice with a uh, rice cooker and you take the meat and you just put it on top, garnish it with some uh, green onion and get a nice, really soft boiled egg. Splash on some soy sauce for uh, some extra flavoring since now there's a lot of white rice. And that's pretty much it. It's a simple pork rice bowl, and I'm gonna cut down that egg and show you the nice gooey inside to basically use as a sauce for the rice bowl. And another recipe I'm going to make would go very well with a nice simple salad. So this salad's going to basically use arugula as the uh, base. And then I'm going to put in uh, some cucumber chunks and that will give it some nice fresh uh, crispy texture to that. And then I'm going to add in some uh, tomato, cherry tomatoes here. I found this uh, darker variety because it's a little different flavor, it's a little sweeter. And I'm going to add in a sweet um, pepper here. And I'm going to cut it down into slices. And the red color also helps to add a little bit of coloring to it as well. So that's always very pleasant to have aesthetically pleasing. So the salad's very simple. Now I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil on it. And I'm going to add my acidity through a balsamic vinegar. And I always generally like my salads uh, tossed so it gets the uh, dressings even, evenly distributed. Add in some salt and pepper for taste. And there we go. Toss it. Mix everything nicely. Uh, so everything gets a little bit of uh, olive oil coating and some uh, vinegar. So it has a nice even distribution. Now to assemble the uh, grilled cheese sandwich using the same pork meat. I threw in some cayenne pepper, a little bit of Dijon mustard, mix it all up so it's nicely incorporated. And melted cheese, you can't really, shouldn't really open the melted cheese to add the flavoring later. So I'm doing all the flavoring I want to add to the meat here. Meat's already salted from the last episode, so I'm not really adding any salt to this, just the extra flavoring. Now for the grilled cheese portion, butter is pretty important. And I would probably recommend buttering both sides of the bread, uh, the outside and the inside as well. So I'm right now finished the outside. So now I'm going to do the inside and I'm going to go ahead and butter everything on both sides because the outside is going to what's going to end up going to the grill. Now I'm using just regular American cheese. One of the best cheeses to use for grilled cheese because it melts pretty easily. Uh, this particular brand I got um, tends to stick together a little bit. So as you see, that little piece of cheese there kind of escaped me. Now, I'm going to top it off with the um, pork butt, the meat from the pork butt. Get it nice and distributed evenly. Try to flatten it out as much as possible. And that way, when it melts, it will melt all easily and they will all be held together by cheese. And now I have the insides of a grilled cheese sandwich folded over and that extra piece of cheese is going back in. It didn't escape. Now, I'm going to show you how to do a grilled cheese. Something very easy to do. Get your pan nicely warmed. I only set it on medium heat because I don't want it to cook too fast. And I don't want to burn the bread. So I'm going to let it sit initially, occasionally moving it around. And I'm going to slowly let it heat up and get the bread nice and golden. Now you want to flip it back and forth so it has a little bit of time to cool. So you get to heat it for a little bit longer so the cheese will melt more. And as you can see, the cheese is starting to melt from the heat that's being generated. 
Now, the backside being that the pan is now a lot hotter, the other side of it will burn a lot faster. So you need to start flipping a little more. Occasionally, I want to move it around just to make sure nothing, getting a little more even distribution of heat. Now I'm shifting a lot more so that it doesn't burn. Now, after you get your desired golden brownness, you can take it off the plate. And now I'm going to cut it open and show you the cross section. There is no string, cheesy string pull because I realized if you cut it, you cut all the cheese. So there is no way that it realistically will pull. And I found out from another video that people imitate that effect by basically opening it and sticking another piece of cheese and then melting it again. Now, that's how you get this cheesy pull. Now, I accompany that with the side salad, some acidity to break up all that fatty goodness from the cheese and the pork butt. And there you have it. With the leftover pork butt, I created two other separate meals. Well, thank you very much for watching. And remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.